the company started in 1934, started by my father and my grandfather was involved. They were really leather goods importers more in those days before starting the factory a few years later. My father never had any concerns about passing it over because I think he could see from an early age I was interested in the business. The machinery and the skills intrigued me and it still does to this day. I first made a conscious decision to join the business after my father had sent me travelling and working for other companies for about four years. My father wanted me to learn from different people, not just from him. And then at about 24, he turned around to me and said, look, you've now got to make a decision. Do you want to be a ski instructor or do you want to work in business? And I thought long and hard, it was a hard decision to make. When one starts out in a family business, it's daunting. I thought, one day I'm going to have to manage this. Could I do it? It didn't happen overnight. It was a slow process. He didn't want to retire. He wanted to carry on. He enjoyed working. It meant I didn't suddenly have to have all the responsibility from one day to the next. The pros and cons of succession within a family are that it's got to be the right move if you're bringing in family members. I know a company where there are many family members there and the managing director said to me in confidence that frankly they weren't family members, I'm not sure if I'm, I'd employ them here. I am thinking about succession planning and I think as the company grows that's allowing us to take on more people, more people with the expertise in different areas of business. So that in a way is succession. I'm really glad that I made the decision all those years ago to stop skiing and, and to join the family business. At times it's, it's been daunting, but now I can look back on it and, and see the success we've made of it. And I still sometimes get to go skiing. <laughs>